Hello everybody, welcome to this painting tutorial where we're going to be painting the Sentinels from the Dark Souls board game. I have started by priming my miniature with a flat gray primer. The first thing we're going to do is pick out all of the chain mail with gunmetal from the Army Painter. Make sure to use a smaller brush when you're working into some of these areas so you don't get it all over the miniature. However, don't worry if you do as we will be going over this color in the next step. The next step is to paint canoptic alloy over all of the plate mail, uh, including the weapon and the shield. So that's the trim of the shield, the entire weapon, all the armor plates that are not painted in that chainmail color, the helmet, the legs, the boots. Uh, because this is a layer paint, it's a little thinner. You're going to want to make sure to put probably a couple of thin coats so you get good coverage. So once you get that first coat applied and it's completely dry, have a look around the model, cover in areas that need to be, uh, you know, filled in. The next metallic color to add is plate mail armor by the Army Painter. We're going to be adding this just to the face of the shield. While you're adding this color, don't worry about going over the details in the center of the shield, that filigree. We'll be going back with another color in the next step. Just be careful when you get close to the sides, the edges of the shield that you've already painted in that canoptic alloy color. The next step is to go back in with canoptic alloy with a small brush and finish covering up that detailed filigree on top of the shield. Make sure to be careful with it, and don't get that color into the plate mail, although, although if you do, you can always go back and cover it up. Now that all the metallic's done, the model's looking great and we're ready to move on to the next colors. I would recommend changing out your water so that the metallic flakes from those first couple paints don't mess up the colors that we're gonna be putting on next. The next area we're going to be painting is that cloth that runs down the back and the center of the model. Uh, we're going to build up these colors. We're starting out with ash gray. Make sure to cover all the cloth on the straight down the middle, on the underside of the model, and the sides. Uh, you may want to switch to a smaller brush when you get close to some of the areas you've already painted in a metallic color. But at this point, don't worry if you run into it. You can always go back and cover it back up. Once you've got good coverage of that first gray, which might have taken a couple of thin coats, the next step is to add Ulthuan gray directly over the front, the top, and the back of the cloak. Don't worry about doing the underside and directly to the sides of the cloak, as leaving it that ash gray color will make it look uh, like it's got some depth and some shade. Be careful when you get around the metallics, especially the shield and some of the areas you've already painted. Take your time around the top, around that the neck armor can be kind of tricky, so I would switch to a smaller brush. Also, while you're doing this step, don't worry about going over the detailed trim on the sides of the cloak, as we'll be painting that a different color. We have one more base color to add, and that's going to be the trim uh, going on the left and right sides of that cloak. I'll be using Greedy Gold from the Army Painter, I would recommend using a small brush, some sort of detail or small layer brush so that you don't get it onto any of the other colors you've already painted. Just take your time, turn the model into whatever angle you need so that it's easy to paint and use a downward motion that feels really natural. Now with all the base colors done, the model is looking great and we're about 85 to 90% done. 
This next step is going to help bring out all the detail in the filigree and just add depth to the armor and the shield and make everything pop. We'll be using a 2 to 1 ratio mix of strong tone from the army painter and Laman medium from Citadel. We've done this so that the it, it doesn't darken down all the colors that we've put on, but the dark color will fall into the recesses and add just a little bit of depth to um, the rest of the model. So we'll be adding this color to the gold edges of the trim of the cloak, the filigree on the front of the shield, the filigree on the armor, not the flat panels of the armor. Very important to not put it on the flat panels. Just go into the filigreed areas, the detailed recesses of the armor, and also the filigreed areas of, the, of, of his halberd weapon that he has. The next shade paint to add is going to be Dark Tone by the Army Painter. We're going to be adding this into only the chain mail across the entire miniature. Uh, use a small brush that you don't get this dark tone on any of the brightly colored armor. That's, that's going to really mess up all the time you spend on that bright color. And you'll have to go back and rebase and reshade. So just take your time with it and only put this into the chain mail on the miniature. And with that, the final step is to just paint the base. You can paint it whatever color you want. I'll be painting it just a flat black. And there you have it. The model's done. It looks great for tabletop gaming. Lots of detail. Very bright looking model. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Like and subscribe.